It's a beautiful day today in sunny Kyiv as participants had gathered to swim across the Dnipro in celebration of Dnipro Day. Today they started at Truchanyev Ostry and will be swimming across the Dnipro here to the 10th pier to collect all their medals. We'll be catching up with a few of them on either side of the Dnipro. Organizers staged concerts near the river port for Dnipro Day to highlight the importance of preserving the river. Said he tells us some of the problems he has noticed. I know that the bottom of Kyiv Sea is covered with a bed of water chestnuts that prevent the regeneration and growth of plants. The hundreds of swimmers gathered on Truhaniv Island at 9.30 to register and prepare for the 10.30 swim. Well, at the registration for the swim, I was told that there were roughly 400 people, and there were professional and amateur swimmers. For example, this morning there were over 100 amateurs that registered. In the morning there were only around 300, and there was even one child who took part in the swim. With the sound of the first whistle, swimmers charged into the water. To maintain order, all the participants were organized and then separated into three groups. Each group was released one by one to swim across the Dnipro. Once all the swimmers from the first group had come out on the other side, the next group would set off on their journey. All of the participants were awarded a symbolic medal for their efforts. We caught up with Veronica and Mariana after their swim. Near the end I could start to feel the fatigue. I think the hardest part was visibility. I had to continuously come up to see where I was, because I constantly felt like the tide was pulling me astray. Yeah, there weren't really any currents. Somewhere near the middle there were some bigger waves, but not enough to stop us from continuing on. The swim was deemed a success by both the participants and organizers, promoting a pollution-free environment.